Well, it has been a while since I have filmed a video. I think my last video I filmed was around Christmas time and I think it was a vlog. So it's been about nine months since I have been in front of the camera. And so today I thought it would be really fun just to get ready on camera and catch you up with everything that's been going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in to getting ready, otherwise I'm gonna be here talking to you forever. So I'm gonna get started using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Uh, so, first and foremost, the thing that you are probably noticing is that my background's changed. And that is because my husband and I moved into a house, which is really exciting. We have been living in an apartment for the past four years, and we uh, finally, like one thing led to another, and we finally were was able to move and get into a house, which has been really awesome. But if you've ever moved, you know that it is like a huge endeavor, let alone going from an apartment to a house. So right now there are still like rooms in our house that don't have any furniture. So I'm actually going to Ikea with my mom tomorrow to see if I can get some more furniture. Even though I would love not to do Ikea furniture, I feel like it's going to be the best plan to fill out the room, uh, fill out the house for a while. I'm moving on to NARS Sheer Glow in Punjab. Um, I still feel like I have a little bit of my summer tan. So yeah, we moved Memorial Day weekend. So we've been in this house a few months now. Um, I still feel like every time I get home from work that I just have like a long to-do list of everything that needs to be done in the house. Um, we still have boxes, which kudos to anyone that like unboxes all of their boxes right away. I don't know how you do it. We have, we have a lot of boxes in the house still. So working on that, getting those together. Okay, that seems pretty good to me. Um, I'm breaking out a little bit right now, it's that time of the month, so um, I will definitely be using concealer to like cover up a little bit of some spots that I have. Uh, for concealer today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is literally the best concealer I've ever tried. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's a bummer you can't get it at Sephora. I wish you could, you can only get it at Ulta. I have two colors. I'm going to be using light and medium. There's really not a color right now that matches my skin. I picked up medium also because I've been doing a lot of other people's makeup. That's something else that I can catch you up on. I've done a couple weddings. That's been fun. I've also learned that weddings are terrifying. <laughs> I am a perfectionist and I hate when makeup makes someone feel uncomfortable and I want a bride to feel really, really comfortable on their wedding day. So. It, like, I tell them that it's going to take an hour, but it's been taking me, like, an hour and a half to do wedding makeup, which I know is not realistic for, like, a bride wedding day. Um, so I've been, I've been doing that. I, I've only done it on friends so far. I did um, my sister and um, her wife's wedding. So my sister got married, which was really fun. I was a matron of honor for their wedding, and it was just really cool to be a part of their day. Um, they, uh, got married in April and it's really sad because my sister's wife's my sister's wife parents didn't come to the wedding. Um, they are not supportive of her and my sister. So, um, it was really special for me to be a part of their day because I know that, um, they just need love. Like, it, it, it still really, really saddens my heart that we are still in a society that's not accepting of just and loving whoever you want to love. Um, I'm going to blend in this concealer with a MAC 168. This is like my all-time favorite concealer brush. Um, anyway, so we did their wedding, which was really fun. Uh, I've decided I will never, ever do two brides ever again. <laughs> That was just a lot of stress. Um, of course, I would like do it again for them in a heartbeat. But at the end of the day, they loved their makeup and their pictures turned out beautiful. Um, so I was really excited to be a part of their day, not only in the wedding, but also um, in a way that felt really personal. I also did uh, two of my other friends' weddings, one in July and one in August. And that was really fun to be doing their makeup as well. Um, 
And so far I've really liked how the makeup's looked on camera, so that makes me feel pretty good. I don't know if I'll make makeup like a side job, like I, I found it really stressful actually. And I think I'll probably do it for friends, but I don't think I would ever do it like professionally. I, I, much, in, I much more enjoy talking to a camera and putting on makeup and buying makeup than I actually do like events. Um, I would much rather it just be casual and like talk about the things I love and talk about the things you love. Okay, next I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I think, yeah, my skin's looking pretty good. I have a hair. Um, I've been trying out a new eyebrow pencil. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz for literally years. Like, I've probably gone through, like, three or four, like, pencils. And I just want to try something different. I want to try something new. Um, I actually tried out this pencil right when it very first launched a couple years ago. And it seemed a little too dark and too red for my skin tone, or for my hair color. And maybe it still is, but I thought I would just try something different. And um, when I bought it, my best friend Shannon said that it looked okay in the store. So I thought I would just try it out. Uh, let's see, what else can I catch you up on? I have been working a lot. I got promoted to an art director at the agency that I work at in Portland. So it's been really fun stepping into that role. I've been going on uh, more trips to meet with clients and talk about their design. I just had a website launch that I design and art directed and had a huge part of the implementation on, which was traveloregon.com. So if you are considering coming to Oregon, maybe you should check it out. I think the site turned out really, really well. The team that I worked with was amazing, and not only were they super duper talented, but they're also my good friends, so that just makes it even more fun to like be on a team with people. So that launched just this week. Um, that is a website that has consumed my life for like the past like 16 months, so it was really fun to see that website launch. One of the other reasons why I've had a hard time to film is I've just been working a lot. Um, I've also still been teaching. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I teach at the local art institute. Um, I teach a, a UX and UI web design class. So I've been teaching and that's been really fun. I'm just in the process of grading my students' finals and then summer term is going to be over. I know, summer term feels weird that it's still going on for school, but they run super late. Their fall term starts in October. Speaking of October, I am so excited for fall. <laughs> I, like, am really sad to see summer go. Like, I don't feel quite ready for summer to go. Like, I feel like I didn't get enough tan. We also um, had a huge forest fire here in Oregon for like three weeks. Um, some like teenage boys set off fireworks in the gorge, the Columbia River Gorge, and it caused like a huge fire. It was called the Eagle Creek Fire. I'm not even sure if it's totally out, although we did just have a ton of rain, so I'm hoping that it's completely out, but it basically dumped smoke on Portland for days, weeks, weeks, not days, weeks. And it was really sad. It felt um, it like the breathing hazard was really bad. Like people were saying to stay inside your house and not to go running or walking or even like being careful about letting your pets outside because of how bad it was. Okay, that is my eyebrows done. They do feel a little bit dark to me, but oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyebrows. I have been finding with this pencil that if I don't set it, that it rubs off pretty easily. So I'm going to set it using my classic um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It totally just flicked gel like on my forehead. What the heck? Um, I'm going to just set this in a place. I actually need a new one of these. So I'm going to put it on my list for this Sephora VIB sale, which is coming up in November. Hopefully. I mean, they've had it for like the past five years, so I don't see why they wouldn't have it again. I'm going to move on to my eyes, I think. Um, I'm just going to do like a makeup look that I've been doing like every day recently. And I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette 
holy crap, I bought this the day that it launched. Um, in fact, Shannon, you know, she, bless her heart, we carpooled to work that day together and she sat in the passenger seat of my car and like was buying the palette for me. Like when we were driving, I was like hot spotting the Wi-Fi to my phone so that I could actually buy the palette. I'm gonna start off with these two, let's see if I can show you. These two like light brown shades right here. I'm gonna blend them up with them in my crease. I also, if you can see like down here, there's something going on and it's because like the, the eyeshadow, like I dropped the palette and the eyeshadow shattered, which if you're a makeup lover like me, you know how terrifying that was, but that's okay. It still works just fine. It's just really messy. Um, so the makeup look I'm going to be doing today is just my everyday makeup look that I've been doing for work every day. Because I'm still tan, I really like a, like, warm, bronzy, but not like shimmer bronze, but just like a matte caramel eyeshadow with eyeliner. So I put that in the crease and then I'm going to take, um, these, this primarily this color and like this color and mix them together and put them all over my eye. Um, I think this one in the center is called Pukey. Um, it's just a really nice yellow brown color that when I put bronzer on it works really well with. Uh, so what else? What else has been going on? Oh, one of the great things about moving a house, moving to a house, is that I don't have to be quiet anymore. Like, living in an apartment for four years, and my husband's lived in an apartment for a long, much longer than me, but you like get into this mindset of like being quiet, like you close the cupboards quietly and you like walk around quietly, Cause especially because we were on the second floor, we didn't want to bother our downstairs neighbors. And since we've moved, we, we'll just have yelling contests in the house, which I know sounds hilarious, but we'll just like yell at the top of our lungs because it doesn't matter, no one can hear us. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're kind of lame like that, but it's been really great. Okay, I think that's good for my eyes. It's just like a really nice brown, warm caramel color. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. I use primarily just this warm orangey shade in the center here, the pukey color. Um, I'm gonna do just a little bit using a flat 239 brush on the bottom of my lashes just to bring it down a little bit. I also really like this color because I feel like it makes my green eyes look more green. Okay. Um, just with the palette really quickly while I have it open, I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is the 221 from MAC. And I'm going to use a little bit of this white shimmery shade here in the, it's the second color. I'm going to put a little bit in the center of my eye. It was a little bit brighter than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm just going to do ever so slightly a little bit on my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take my arm and like dust off the extra and I just want to take and like blend out the edges because I don't want the like caramely pukey color. Whoa! Dropped the palette. Um, put it right there. I don't want the caramely pukey color to be patchy at all. These eyeshadows blend out like a dream so it probably is not going to be but I just want to make sure that it's not at all. Okay, looking good to me. Next, let's move on to eyeliner. I think it'll be good just to finish up the eyes while I'm here. I tend to be super extra and I use two eyeliners. So I've been absolutely loving the Marc Jacobs, the, what's this called? The Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon in Irony. Uh, it's a twist up pencil. There's a sharpener on the other side if you wanna use it, but I don't ever use it. And the second eyeliner I use is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Black. I'm going to start with the Marc Jacobs and just quickly put that on my upper lash line. Okay, I'm going to go on with the Stila. I like doing the Marc Jacobs first too because you can be a little bit more messy with the Stila. Like, it just helps fade it in. It's almost the idea of doing like liquid liner and then an eyeshadow, like a really similar thing. But I almost always use two eyeliners. Eyeliner is also just my thing. Like, I feel like I look really weird without eyeliner. Today I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Uh, I am about to film a Sephora haul, so if you are excited to see that, be sure and subscribe because it'll be my next video. 
Um, but I just repurchased the YSL The Shock Mascara. Whoa. That is one of my new all-time favorite mascaras. This one used to be, and this one still is a really great mascara, and I have backups of this one, and I will still repurchase the Roller Lash because it works really well for my lashes. But the Shock, it's fast, it's black, and it holds a curl, and it's not waterproof. Almost all mascaras that hold a curl, this would be another one that holds a curl and it's not waterproof too, although it is hard to get off, um, are waterproof that when they hold a curl, but the shock isn't. And it just, like when I go to the bathroom the other day and my eyelashes still look great. Does anyone else do that? Like go to the bathroom and check out their eyelashes, see how their mascara is holding up. Um, and I'm just always impressed with the shock. This mascara actually needs to be thrown out too. It's old and it's getting dried out as well. So I'm gonna switch through my makeup. Speaking of switching through my makeup, I'm really excited for fall makeup. Um, this is, right now I'm doing just like my everyday kind of summer makeup routine. Um, only because my skin is still pretty bronzed. But, ooh. We had like some cold rainy days. Okay, my camera just cut out, so I'm not quite sure what I was saying, but I was definitely talking about dark lips. Ooh, I'm so excited for fall time because it is just like the best time for makeup. Does anyone else love fall makeup, winter makeup? Oh, I just, I don't know what it is, but like it gets cozy outside and I just want to like put on makeup, like something about it, like dark lips and like cool dark eyes. Um, okay, mascara is done. The mascara or the eyeliner is still transferring up on my lid. Mascara, eyeliner, right? I don't remember what I just said. Um, go away. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to do bronzer um, because I still am pretty bronze. Like my neck's a little bit pale, but like through here, I'm still pretty bronze. Bronze tan. So I'm going to use my Chanel bronzer. This is in N40. Look at that pan that I hit. Mm, I'm very proud of myself. Um, I'm going to use my, a new Morphe brush. This is the R2. This is a really awesome bronzer brush. Um, it's just a really nice shape for my face. I have, I've determined a smaller face than most people. I didn't really know that until I started using a lot of makeup brushes where some people were like, like the Marc Jacobs makeup brush, the bronzer brush, a lot of people love it. On me, it like takes up my entire cheek. I'm not quite sure why. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bronze with this. I'm gonna pull my hair out of the way really quickly so I can get my forehead. Okay, that's good for bronzer. Uh, I'm gonna keep on going with highlighter. I'm gonna use the RMS Living Luminizer. I wasn't sure how I felt about this at first, but I actually do like it now. I'm just gonna use my finger and smudge it in it and then do it on the cheek belt. I like this Lum Living Luminizer because I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. Oh, I think you can. But it's just really nice and like, it has the white undertone, which for some reason on my skin I've always found looks really nice. Ooh, it's looking very shiny. I'm going to do a little bit on my cupid's bow, and I also like to just dab a little bit on the inner corners. And then lately, I've been on trend, and I've been putting a little bit down the center of my nose. Not too much, because I feel like I have a really tiny nose, and I don't want it to look tinier. Um, and I think we can do blush. No, I didn't bring blush. I've not been wearing blush. Blah, blah, blah. I've not been wearing blush, so we're not going to do it. But we can do lips. So today I have two lip colors. I have a Bite Beauty. This is in Rhubarb. This is the High Pigment Pencil. And I also have um, Max, 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 yes, Max Whirl. So I'm not quite sure what color. Ooh, that would be pretty and kind of folly. This is a little bit more warm. Mmm. Mmm. Let's do Mac Whirl. It's new. I ooh! No, I forgot! I want to contour really quickly. I just got, you know, because it's all the rage, I just got the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. I have been looking for a cream contour stick for a really long time, and I'm so 
pale that, um, um, pale is the wrong word, I'm cool toned. And so to find like a cooler contour stick has been really hard. So I found this and I was really excited. I've tried it out a little bit. I don't know how I feel about it totally. Um, in the store it seemed to work a little bit better than it has when I've been at home. But I do find it dries pretty quickly so I have a brush ready to like blend out. So I'm going to do a little bit of a stripe. It does look very gray on me. I think maybe that in this case it's a little too cool. Like maybe I could go with the next color up. Or maybe when I lose a little bit of my tan it'll look a little, little bit better. Not quite sure. Do the other side. Blend this out. It does seem very cool. Maybe that's my problem. It's almost going a little bit like purple because it's so cool. But it does look like a natural shadow. I don't know. I'm still testing it out. What do you guys think? Do you have this? What do you think of it? Do we need to get a different color? Do I need to lose my tan? Is that what it is? Okay. Back to lips, now that we have contour on, I am going to try Whirl. Woo! I also have a lip pencil, but I'm going to skip the lip pencil. I'm just going to go on right with the lipstick. So let's see how this looks. Matte, MAC matte lipsticks are just the best matte lipstick formula. It stays creamy, but it's not shiny. I, I really struggle with dry lips, so having a really nice matte that doesn't dry out is like really important to me. So that concludes today's video. This is my final makeup look. I love that it feels really fally. Like this eyeshadow with the lip is like giving me these like warm cozy vibes, which I'm loving. Uh, I will also be doing like an, a, a legit fall makeup look eventually in like a couple weeks. So uh, hopefully that'll get even more like folly and cozy and maybe I'll even have like some fall decor in my background, who knows. Uh, my next video, like I mentioned, is going to be a Sephora haul, so if you want to subscribe so that you don't miss it, that would be awesome. I'm really close to 500 subscribers. I want to thank you so much for hanging in there with me if you are one of those like 500 right now. I know it's been a really long time since I've uploaded and it means the world to me that you haven't ditched me. I'm just an average girl with an average life with a full-time job and a part-time job and a family and it just it means a lot that you've been patient with me and I have like a list of everything that I want to film up until Christmas so I'm really gonna try to film more I know I keep saying that but this time I really am uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will catch you in my next video